Could make the multiplayer tomorrow, but I'm on holiday both the next weekend, Worldcon, Eurocon. Could set up a country for someone who wants to take over, perhaps. I would say yes, but not one of the major powers, Poet. Just in case we don't get a sub. Substitutes are often more difficult to find than people imagine. But there are a couple of nations there which aren't majors. Be someone like, um... Mexico. Which I think are on the communist side. But all of those lists are over on the Discord, so you can find out exactly what those are. Am I seriously about to just walk into Hollandia? Yep. They're just not guarding this stuff. Can't say I am sorry. Ooh. Right, well you may as well start conquering. Then the other half of purples, which should be here, and they are. Can go and prepare for an attack, which is going to look something like this. Oh, Burma is German, so... Ooh. They were actually pushing into Fentiang. That's going to relieve some of the pressure on the Japanese. And now it's going to be the Dominion of India versus Burma. So if I can launch a naval invasion of the... Well, actually, I need to be somewhere in Baratia, don't I? It would need to be over here so I can actually resurrect Baratia as I'm doing it. Because my plan is to resurrect Baratia and then just throw guns at them. Because I'm going to have the industry, which they are lacking. I wonder if I can... No, I would need to defeat Germany in order to pop out Indonesia. Yeah, that's going to take some doing, seeing as the one and only country in the Reichspakt that has capitulated is the one that I capitulated. Well, the Reichs Pact has now lost 14 million. Most of those are probably Chinese, though. Where's AOG? No, 154,000. Meanwhile, total Australasian losses thus far, 6,000. We inflicted 1.2 million on the Dutch East Indies. Fall of Algiers, the capital of the French government. Oh dear. Yeah, they lost that, they lost that. Britain's kind of holding on, I guess. CSA is now finally starting to cross the Rockies and get to the Sierra Nevadas. So unfortunately for the Entente, the only real country that's going to be doing any damage here is probably going to be India. I suspect the others are more or less tapped for manpower. How is Germany doing for manpower? That's another good question. 4.4 million, but they are on all adult serve. CSA has still got a million. They're only on service by requirement though. factories does Germany have? Germany is sitting on 454 whereas the CSA is sitting on 400. So they're not actually that far behind. So 
CSA also doesn't have everything cored until they finish off the PSA. Exactly. Yeah, hopefully we'll see a bit of a ramping up of power sooner rather than later. Where to, boss? Wow, Romania lost a million. No wonder they put up such a brutal fight. How's Serbia doing? Serbia's still alive! I wouldn't say going strong, but still fighting. I mean, part of the problem for the UK here is Germany's navy is still super, super strong. There's no real way of countering that for them. Okay, we've got another of the modern cruisers. Still need more of them, though, and I would like to start building my heavy cruisers at some point. I researched them ages ago and then never really had an opportunity to use them. Insulindia Revolt now would be really good timing. It's already happened. It failed. Looks like Seattle is about to fall. That would be nice. I would say that Seattle has already fallen. I must say I'm... I'm really curious now. Oops. I just want to see what the strength of the uh, PSA units are. No, oh, fuck. It wasn't paused. It's because I pressed space after the tag the first time, when it wasn't actually uh, picking up the fact that I was typing in the console. Try that again. Can't really tell. Actually, they have a lot more strength than I expected considering they're out of manpower. Huh. Where the hell's it come from? I am genuinely surprised. They have manpower again. I could have sworn they were completely tapped. Like 25% of population recruited. Tapped. Mobilized. Whatever it's called. You're now saying that you need 45 divisions to hold everything that we are trying to hold. Yes, sir. How many do you need? Oh, only 11. Uh, I want to keep about 22 for you, so we'll give 11 away. What are your orders, sir? To him. Make ourselves as difficult to naval invade as possible.
is next? Here so. come the purples. That's going to allow me to go after New Guinea a lot more easily. Yeah, now we're really starting to mass produce factories, which is good. One other thing that we may well want is a big ass radar. Sumatra. Let's keep the radar going. I was just wondering if there was going to be a way of adding exile troops to regular units, but I don't think there is. Alas. Where to, boss? What are your orders, sir? Right. Set you all to just f take the train to wherever it is you're trying to get to so you can get there quickly. Then I can send the blues off somewhere else. Probably to attack this. Oh, I need to remember what's my core. Okay, that is, that is, so I'll probably go and attack that and then expand the Malukas. All right, sir. What are your orders, sir? New technology. That was nighttime fighting. So it is time to get graded fighters, I think. I'm here, sorry for my absence, talking to mum on the phone tending to the chicken farm. Anyone need fresh eggs? Oh man, I'd love some fresh eggs. Probably a bit too far away though. Um, draw me yes, you. Sir. That's Drewski. Which means Sergei yes, sir. is the one I'm trying to go up here. So then, yes, sir. all of their troops are here, so let's cancel your orders. And have you. I mean, quite frankly, you may as well sail from Hollandia. To there. Why is nobody attacking German East Asia? Yes, sir. Ah, you are. That's more like it. And also, we have a full tank of fuel. So we can probably stop importing it. We actually extract 105 now. So we are probably a net exporter. And because of that, I feel like I can probably start bringing in more steel. Surplus. So let's also get some aluminium. Too much. And there we go. We have now got positive resources in everything. That's a lot better.
catching any of their fleets up here, I wonder. I'm going to guess no, because I'm going to guess that you guys are based in Australia as opposed to nearby. Yep. Huzzah! Could you please, 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 please base yourselves up here? Because then you can actually get into the fights that you're trying to get into. Swift Train coming in with a 14 month resubscription. Thank you very, very much for that resub there, Swift Train. Appreciate it. Wine and Hearts of Iron 4. Good evening ahead. Huzzah. Good evening indeed. <laughs> Remember, there is an island to the Coral Sea that has a bunch of resources. That one. Good idea. Yes, sir. I'll get the navy on it after this. Table source, thank you very much for the bits. Just as the Kingdom of France is unfortunately capitulating. How is Britain doing? Not amazingly well. Are they at least inflicting damage? I have no idea what war that would be. It's one of the many wars that Germany is involved in. It's not that one. It's not that one. It's... Not that one. It's... Not that one. It's this one! No, it's not. Huzzah! Every single nation in the Japanese faction is a major power. It's quite funny. Damn it, where's the Entente War? Also, why am I part of the way towards capitulation? Am I being naval invaded somewhere? Did I just keep clicking past it for some reason? Must have. I'm an idiot. Um, right. United Kingdom has lost half a million. Germany has lost half a million. Most of them to the UK. The UK is more than halfway towards capitulation. It's not good. 406 Mob, thank you very much for the resubscription. Two months now, awesome, thank you. Your content is worth more than my hatred for Amazon. Well, I get paid too. I mean, if you really want to not pay Amazon, there's always Patreon, in which case I get, I think, 95% of the revenue instead of 50. Just an option. That Heart of Iron 4 multiplayer, where that's when? Tomorrow, yes. So tomorrow, I will be doing a Heart of Iron 4 multiplayer. It's going to be vanilla. And I'm going to be playing rather than commentating, so if you want to play with me or alongside me or against me, that's going to be your opportunity to do so. And if you want to get involved with that, then you'll need to head over to the Discord, which I'm sure Marshall is also about to post. And you can find all the details for that game in the Community Information tab. And it's open to everyone. There are no restrictions. Man U's playing against Chelsea, the game opener. Oh, you can miss that, it's fine. I'll allow it. Is this my full-time job? It is, yes. Sinking a couple of convoys, that's good. And that, 
Good stuff. Is Scotland going to hold out for the UK? I really hope they do. Scotland! Come on, CSA. Portland just fell. They're not too far away from Sacramento. Vegas is about to fall. What's Canada's navy like? Still pretty decent. I'd like to see the Canadians really messing up the uh, Germans and the English coast, but I can't really see that happening. Okay, so we have now fully upgraded our marines. I think I want to get the close air support next. Convoys. Good, good, good. How many convoys does Germany have? Because I'm sinking quite a lot of them. 700. India? 300. Who else am I sinking a lot from? Brazil. 270. Could do with more. Right, are you guys ready for the off? Yes, you are. Except for the fact that you have to go through the Bismarck Sea, which we do not control. Would appear to be a German cruiser fleet. A very, very weak German cruiser fleet. A very, very dead German cruiser fleet. That was pretty effective. Four cruisers, 17 destroyers. Not bad, not bad. Where's next, sir? Set them back a bit. I think I'm going to build two more light cruisers and then we're going to start switching to heavy cruisers. Or maybe we'll just switch away from regular destroyers. We're still sitting at 98% effectiveness. Oh, we now have superiority. Does that mean you've left? Yes, sir. Yes, good. New technology. Okay. Air superiority, tactical bombing, or ground support. I'm going to go with the ground support. Where's next, sir? What are your orders, sir? Quite a few units to defend that. It's kind of caught snoozing. 12 French destroyers. I should probably check to see if there's any repairs I need to make. Because they seem to be getting themselves into quite a lot of trouble. Not a huge amount. No, seem fine. Not too shabby. Aha, that's good. 
That's even more cruiser killing, and that's capital ship armor, so we're going to go on down that line as well. Dead German cruiser fleets are the second best cruiser fleets. Well, they've definitely been hanging around for a while, causing my submarine some headaches. So the fact that we're now going through and sweeping away all of their um, escort fleets means that my uh, submarines are having an absolute field day at the moment. Vegas still hasn't fallen. And uh, nine Indian destroyers, one cruiser. Yeah, my battle fleet is definitely having a bit of a f fun time at the moment. We're sinking a lot of convoys. 14 finished convoys, another nine more Dutch convoys. I think that's to uh, fuel all of the troops that they have over here. Go. That's what I was trying to do. Because I want to make sure that we hold on to this position. If they want to keep on attacking me, they are welcome to. Ace pilot. Yay. Supplies are a little bit of a problem there. Let's make sure that that gets repaired. Northern Territory again. Why does Darwin keep being here? It's not an Air Force thing. Although, actually, that's a very good point. Some of these interior Air Forces. I could probably move over here now. Now, hopefully, we find even more stuff sailing around up here. Now that we have the naval bombers providing air superiority and air, air assistance. Not superiority, but assistance. Where's next? Sir? Oh, yeah, of course. This is a uh, port. Totally forgot about that. Like that, that's good. All right, sir. Well, in that case, I would say that your next adventure is going to go from there. No, we're going to go and attack this. I think. Where to, boss? Going from Brisbane. some preparation from there all right well i think that this is a good spot to end this stream so thank you everyone for watching i do hope you're enjoying this if you are be sure to hit that follow button to get notifications when i'm live again in the future if you're really enjoying this then do consider subscribing it helps the channel out and lets me do more of this kind of content if you want to support the channel other ways you can check out the patreon which you can find at patreon.com slash mordred viking as i've been saying i am hosting a multiplayer game tomorrow at 3 p.m british summertime 
that's going to be vanilla hearts of iron and we're going to be doing it for the next three weeks if you are interested in joining that you will then need to head over to our discord which you can find uh at the link which i'm sure is about to be posted details will be in the multiplayer information tab then finally i have a youtube channel huzzah which you can find at youtube.com slash mordred viking that is where i post a lot of um, games and things and crikey jackson coming in with the 12 month one year twitch prime resubscription thank you very very much for that support jackson and congratulations on getting your golden wings should be 13 months but it's saying 12 will i be streaming the multiplayer game probably but i'm not going to do it as an observer i'm actually going to play it um you know what something else i was going to say oh yeah don't worry, I will be back in an hour, so in one hour's time we will be playing some more Hearts of Iron. Having decided if I'll continue this one, I'm enjoying it, but I also recognise that it's quite a slow game, especially as we are into 1944 now. And the Entente has not put up as much of a fight as I was kind of hoping they would. So we shall see, we might start a new one or we'll continue this. You know what, let's let's do a straw poll. I'll leave a straw poll up while I'm away. Haven't decided what the new game will be though, so no promises about that. And we will put that up. This is definitely a bit of a challenge, a bit of something different. And yeah, it's a bit grindy, but I'm coming back, damn it. I've just taken Indonesia. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. I do very much hope you're enjoying this. And I will catch you in an hour. So 10pm British summertime this evening. See you then.